He's probably not as rough around the edges like the others, which, to be fair, LBAF giants don't really have the cleanest reputation already. While they were kind of glorified during Little Garden, I mentioned earlier how Saul didn't even want to be lumped in with the savages of LBAF. He treated them like barbarians almost, and I think Loki might be the one who's trying to break that trend, thus also building a connection between Loki and Saul, which is pretty cool. Instead of constantly fighting for honor and pleasing gods that may not exist, I think Loki probably wants to drive the giants to be at least somewhat more civilized. And maybe this could even tie into why he isn't allowed to leave the country. Not only is he the last of the bloodline, he may not even want to keep the giant's traditions anyway. Even Luffy actually voiced his disdain for their culture once by asking if they'd really give up their lives just because the gods wanted them to. Perhaps Loki embodies this to the furthest degree, and being the prince of Elbath and the rightful heir to the throne, he may feel as if that's his duty. Which again is a beautiful inversion to Usopp, who wants nothing more than to immerse himself in the culture of Elbath, and maybe even do so enough to become his own brave warrior of the sea.